Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, an unusual earthquake, the peak timing of the current quake watch, and a showstopper of an article. But we're going to begin over at spaceweathernews.com, peeking in on the corona and active regions and 193 angstroms. Dominating the viewscape here is the dark corona hole carrying the interplanetary magnetic fields we look for to modulate seismic activity. One eruption did release over by the limb. It was the subject of last night's coupling concern video. It's not coming at Earth, but it's moving fast and could reach 1 AU and electrically couple with our planet by tomorrow. Solar flaring remains quiet. It was a filament release that we just saw a moment ago. The sunspot situation is dismal. The lone grouping on the disk chose the decay route and is now just one umbra of size stringing back in perfect magnetic separation. Quite calm. The solar wind speed in purple, rising upward as the smaller coronal hole stream sets in at our planet. No geomagnetic storms at this time, but we'll continue to watch, and the quake watch should be peaking here soon as those magnetic storms, if they come, wouldn't last long, and a CME will couple tomorrow as this giant coronal hole faces Earth, and it'll still be two days before its solar wind arrives. Over the last day, the only quake to report happened at the North Pole. Gotta go up and off the map. Nobody expects there to be seismic activity like this up there. Just as rare of a gem, but a thousand times more relevant to science is this. The exact same method and analysis that led to a Nobel Prize for finding universal expansion accelerating and the creation of dark energy has added ten times the data and found that the rate of expansion is actually closer to constant. This challenges the standard model in a number of ways, and folks, there's math, and then there's analyzing actual observations. Over 700 supernova. This is just about the end of that story. We've also got a link for you to NASA's latest animations, ozones and related issues like chlorine, vorticity, and other chemicals. Quite a few animations on that page. Quick note, folks, for those who are wrapping their heads around the earthquake forecasting, even though quakewatch.net is under construction, I've posted some graphics and a link to our full results and explanations page. That page has over 40,000 views. Hundreds of people from enthusiasts to journalists have vetted it and yet it's still got all the links on there for the more suspicious among you. Also, the conference page you can get to by clicking that button on the right of the homepage at suspiciousobservers.org now has all the speakers, their talks, the schedule, more details, and the two preview videos out already. Remember that when you book your tickets in October, you also get 60 free days on the website. Just shoot me an email. And you're also entered to win the first printed copy, the first one off the line of our upcoming book, The Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.